Agriculture is still Cuba's number one industry. Today, 70% of the land is owned by the government. The rest is held by small farmers, but the agricultural agency sells them all supplies and buys all the output. Cuban tobacco is still a thriving business and apparently has not been hurt by the trade embargo imposed by the United States. Production has doubled since 1959. Canada, Cuba's third largest trading partner, buys one and a half million dollars worth of tobacco each year. Canada has also sold Cuba herds of dairy cattle in recent years. Always a big industry on this island, today's production techniques are similar to those of the Eastern Bloc nations. At this 122,000 acre farm, about 40 miles east of Havana, there are 54,000 head of cattle. The farm's director says milk production is up 41 times over the 1970 level. American farmers who were observing on this day were impressed with what they saw. Yet in 1976, Cuba had to import more than seven and a half million dollars worth of dairy products from other countries. But sugar remains the number one money crop here. And Soviet-made harvesting equipment is eliminating the need for cutting cane by hand. But the low world price for the product means that Cuba cannot pay its international debts and it can't import all the products it needs. Plus, cutbacks have been made in the five-year economic development plan because of the sugar price crisis. The Soviet Union buys Cuban sugar at three times the current price to help and Canada spent $68 million to buy sugar here last year. That's a substantial portion of the 300 million trade pipeline that's open between the two countries. But Canadian businessmen are worried that they'll lose some of this to Americans who see a potential $750 million a year in trade with Cuba. If the United States could buy Cuban sugar, it is unclear whether it would do so because the current low world price is hurting American sugar producers. But the Cuban trade minister has said that if the United States and Cuba were trading, he would be happy to sell sugar to the United States. Ike Siemens, Channel 4 News, near San Jose, Cuba.